John Part. By my Darth reckoning. Maple. By my reckoning, that makes it a Roses match, doesn't it? Yorkshire Lancashire. Yes, yes, good point. Yes, Battle of the Roses. And it's the White Rose of Yorkshire throwing first. Joe Cullen, the postman from Bradford. And it's Peter Hudson. Saw Cullen tweeting on his way here. Getting the train down from Amsterdam. Watching a bit of Phoenix Knights. <laughs> standard standard practice for, for darts players. I've lost count of the amount of times I've walked into press rooms and players rooms and somebody's watching Phoenix Knights. Maybe it reminds me of, reminds them of some of the uh, clubs they play up and down the country. But I couldn't possibly comment on which ones they might be. A couple of, there we go, first 180 in the match from Joe Cullen. Strong start from the 24-year-old. So already down to a uh, two-dart finish after nine darts. Uh, Hudson, though, well back. It's got a nice pace about it, this one, I think. Both players seem well suited. Yeah, they'll get on with it. They'll certainly get on with it. As Peter Hudson finds a 180 of his own. Now, it might prove academic because Cullen wants double 16. Just moves across the hockey, see if he can open up that bet. Well, I'm not even sure how he's managed to arrow those two in there without finding the little green bit. But Peter Hudson, suddenly that 180 becomes incredibly important. He's found the 25, he wants double 18. And there it is. 180 followed by 61 and Peter Hudson nicks the first leg. A leg that for all the world looked like it was Joe Cullens to lose. Yeah, great pick off there by Hudson. So nick the throw early on in this game. We did see Joe Cullen at uh, Ali Pali in the World Championships over Christmas. Beaten 3-0 by the eventual finalist, Peter Wright. Yeah, Peter Wright playing some incredible darts. Has been for some time. Changing his darts around in the middle of a tournament. Who does that? <laughs> Only someone who's disturbed enough to wear the hair and clothes of Peter Wright, I'd suggest. <laughs> yes, we'll uh, be able to see what attire he is in. As Joe Cullen bangs in another ton 80, his second of the match. Yes, uh, Peter Wright in action tomorrow evening. Penultimate game on. The evening session starting at 7 o'clock local time, 6 o'clock in the UK. Well, Joe Cullen looking to break back immediately. That is a real frustrating one for him. And well, he set it up well enough in the end. Going in that trouble one instead of the trouble 20 means he's missed out on a dart at a double. So Peter Hudson's a little way back. So the pressure off. A little bit. Double tens what he wants. And double tens what he gets. And he breaks back straight away after losing that first leg on his own throw. Yes, the, tomorrow's uh, second round action shaping up nicely. The second round draw. By the end of the night, we will know which 16 players meet the 16 seeds that come into the tournament tomorrow. The afternoon session starting at 1 o'clock local time, 12 o'clock if you're watching us in the UK. Big boys start entering the tournament. Michael Van Gerwen, Simon Whitlock, Adrian Lewis. And kicking off with the biggest, arguably the biggest of them all, the bronzed Adonis. <laughs> Steve beaten up against Kevin Thomas. Oh, you've seen Kevin Thomas is a bit of an entertainer. Some 
confident ball finishes, or at least attempts at them. He's here to put on a show. And speaking to a couple of the people who travel around with the Pro Tour over the course of the year, you say Thomas is one to keep an eye out for. Even when he's lost games, he's been losing them 6-4, six, 6-5. Four, six, Very handy player. Right now, this is all about Joe Cullen and Peter Hudson to play the three-time champion of the world, John Part. A man who knows what it's like to win on the European Tour, having done so last year. Cullen now just looking to put a dent in this. A frustrating 60, but even a, a maximum from Peter Hudson here. Won't put too much pressure on him. But we did see in that first leg when he came from nowhere to nick it against the darts. Cullen will be back because uh, no out shot from 159 for Hudson. So we'll be back for 60. 59. To go in front for the first time this match, 20 for double top. Very cleanly done from Joe Cullen. That's a long way short from Peter Hudson. Great recovery. And a great response from Joe Cullen. Maybe these two just beginning to find their range a little bit. Next up, it's one of the pick of the first round ties. Terry Jenkins up against Yella Klassen. Looking forward to that one. And then another of the host nation qualifiers, uh, Christian Kist up against uh, Mensor Sulevich. And then we round off the night with Terry Temple taking on Dean Wynn Stanley. Uh, an all England affair there. mentioned Terry Jenkins he's the man who Cullen beat here last year before losing out to Jamie Caven in the second round this is to level the match but two apiece that's the dart he wanted is he gonna go for trouble 11 well he was but he's missed the big number you think with Cullen back on 182 maybe perhaps Gone elsewhere, gone treble seven for tops perhaps. But he's on 40 anyway. So three darts, clear bed. Well, that is a nightmare. And he knows it. Which way to go? Double 16 then, for two apiece. Yeah, he made, it, made a meal of it. the job done it's level pegging surely got a switch there no comes over the top of it making it easy for him almost like they're tired darts not finding a weight of dart he'd prefer it to be just above the treble bed a bit like Hudson's first one there he's unlucky to get a deflection into the next bed and <laughs> Nothing unlucky about that. That's a long way off its target. It's a bit better from Cullen, who can work his way down from that. 16. Just a little bit too much. He has a fairly inauspicious leg.
from both players. And as I say that, Peter Hudson fires in a ton 80. Well, that certainly has uh, livened up leg number five. Yeah, start calling more legs in auspicious. <laughs> Nine darters by the end of it. Cullen averaging around about 87, 88. Peter Hudson, 81, 82. Well, just creeping up now to around about 85, but nothing to write home about as yet from either player, really. But they'll just be looking to do a job, put their place in round two. Not always easy to just turn up in a foreign country, turn it on like a tap, produce your best. A lot of these first round games are battles. Well, he's a 50, so 85 left. He's got trouble 19. Double 14. I didn't think it was in, but it's just <laughs> snuck inside the wire. 135 checkout from Peter Hudson. By the man from Salford. A 1 3 5. How can Cullen respond? He needs to consolidate that break of throw. Never really threatening to get in the treble bed. Not like Joe Cullen just there. Oh, what can you do with that? 60 on the floor from Joe Cullen. That was in and out. You know, some of those bounce outs, you can claim they're in the 60, when there might have been absolutely nowhere near, but there is no doubting that one was bang in the red bit. Again, he's below the treble bed, though. That's a good cover shot. Peter Hudson, not able to defend that incredible leg he won previously on the Cullen throw. Another good cover shot with his second dart, but having to go down there because he's below that treble 20 again. But he'll be the first two to finish, and we'll have some time with Hudson still back on 2.10. He'll look to uh, leave himself with a decent finish here. So 50 when he comes back for the Bradford man. I don't know which way Kevin Thomas would go for it. <laughs> but I think Joe may go 10 or 18. 18 it is for double 16. No messing about. And the match is all square again. And Cullen has the advantage of throwing first. He knows if he just holds his throw. The rest of the match, it's his. A place in the second round. A match against John Part. Scrappy. There's no consistency there. And again, Cullen finds himself having a switch as he comes just below that treble 20 bed. Yes, it's all a bit uh, bit laboured as we head into the evening here in Veldhoven, just outside Eindhoven, Holland. Well, I don't know what kind of group in that is from Peter Hudson, but he didn't look pretty. And having gained the advantage in this leg, Peter Hudson now finds himself trailing, but this could turn the tide in this leg. A 140. Cullen looks to respond. Can he fill it up? Yes, he can. Joe Cullen. 
third 180 of the match for the man from Bradford. And a great time to do it as well. To go 4-3 up. A two dart finish, potentially. 16 for double 16. And he's done it. Yeah, well, five good darts there. Right at the end of the leg when it counts. After, as you say, a pretty laboured start to the leg from Cullen. But he finds himself edging closer to victory. And again, look how far below that treble 20 bed that is. A tired dart, a lazy dart, I don't know. It's just not really finding his range. Yes, it's interesting how many times that is happening in this match for Joe Cullen. Great cover on the 19s there from Hudson. Look at that, makes it so much harder for him to find that trouble 20 bed. Which means you're then having to switch more often down to the 19s. And a wild one from the rock there. But he's totally in command of this leg. He's on his own throw, though. These are the ones he has to win. And Cullen may be telling himself that already. More than 200 points behind. Keep throwing and see what happens. And 139 will certainly help. But he knows if he can just hold his own throw. That place in the last 32 is his. A couple of sevens does now. 75 left for Peter Hudson. He come down for 17s. Does so expertly. Last start saved that visit. And this is huge. Well, he wanted two treble 19s for the bullseye. And he's not really threatened any of the targets he went for. So double 12 for Peter Hudson to level the match. To take it. To the best of three legs. And that's exactly what he's done. This may end up going all the way. There's not a great deal between these two. It's Joe Cullen. Well, I was saying it's Joe Cullen who has the advantage of throwing first, but he may have just surrendered that in this leg. Yes, that last leg was a bit scrappy do really, and uh, Cullen has started off in similar vein. And... Uh, Hudson not really punishing. About three 180s from Cullen. That one real moment of quality from Peter Hudson. A 180 followed by a, a 135 checkout at the end of the fifth leg. But neither man has really been able to assert themselves on this one. Neither of them are playing like they can do. This is about grinding out the result. And let you see, look at the checkout rate. More than respectable. Yes, I think it may well be whoever can crawl over the line first rather than sprint over the line to win that six and deciding leg. Once they're getting down to the finishes, they're pretty deadly. Much of a challenge from Peter Hudson. This leg on a Cullen throw and he is running out of time. He needs to break Cullen if he's going to win this match. If it's not going to be in this leg, Hudson's going to have to do it in a deciding leg. And that is a great way to set up. Two dart out shot for Joe Cullen. And there's going to be some pressure on this. There's going to be quite a bit of pressure on this. There's still... A ton plus checkout. Now 13 leaves him double 16. Just to come inside that one and just came in a little too much. A gasp from Cullen. An exasperation. Is this the chance? He'll stay there. And double 19 for the break that he needs. Well, well, what a moment. 
What a moment in the match that could be. Double eight for Cullen to go to within one leg of victory. Double four now. Oh, still can't do it. Hudson has a look. Does he go straight for double 19 or split it with six? Yes, and uh, double 16 then for a break of throw for 5 4. Still not. He can't believe it. Joe can't believe it. Well, this is coming down to just nerve. And after we pointed out how reliable they were on the doubles coming into this leg, when the finishing line is so close, it becomes a lot harder. But Joe Cullen has managed, managed to sneak his last dart in the double four. And Hudson would have been waiting with the first two missed like that. He would have been waiting to pounce or pounce as much of a man of his size can. But he knows he's got to win the next two legs. Or his Dutch darts master's dream comes to a premature end. Yes, it's like a boxing match that's going to the 12 rounds. Two guys are slugging it out. And who's going to win on points? That's a bit more like it from Peter Hudson. Plenty of room for another one there. Again. Grouping of his darts. Not particularly satisfactory, but come on now. Well, this leg hangs in the balance and within the match. Terry Jenkins against Yella Klassen next up on stage here at the NH Conninghoff Hotel in Veldhoven. To keep his hopes alive in this Dutch Masters, Peter Hudson wanted 160. He will be praying that Joe Cullen can't take out 118 for the match then. Well, we saw Hudson nearly take this out in the previous leg. But Colin gets a shot at double top instead of double 19. And whoa, look at the eyebrows on that. <laughs> well, his eyebrows were nearly as high as that dart at double top. Peter Hudson shows him how it's done, though. We are going all the way here. And having missed a match dart, can Joe Cullen hold his nerve and just find a 15 dart leg? Make Hudson do something special to beat him if he's going to beat him. That was great cover on the 19s after again a, a low dart at the 20s for Cullen. But a good response by Hudson. Still is in the balance this game, folks. Wow. An opportunity, an opening. Is it big enough for Hudson to squeeze through it? He's looking to. It's not what he needed. He needed more. Because Cullen can come back. And 125 gives him a fantastic opportunity to set up a shot with his next visit. The pressure is back on Hudson. And he's wilting. <laughs> Almost <Invisibly>. literally. <laughs> Dropping his flight in the process, so Joe just steps back. Again, good cover on the 19s. They really have come to his help tonight, and they've needed to. Joe Cullen, the treble 19s. He's down to 51 then after 12 darts to book his place in round two against the three times world champion, John Part. Well, we said a 15 dart leg would probably be good enough. He can do it in 14, double 16. Oh, two more match darts missed. Joe Collins missed three for the match. Peter Hudson has taken out 135 already. He hit the ball first dart last time. Then he hit trouble 19. Well, it's not going to happen. And he set it up. And Joe Collins looks at double eight now. 
before the match. He's missed three. Three darts he's had to win this match. Two of them in this leg. But he won't miss another. It's a 6-5 win. And the Yorkshireman beats the Lancashire man. He's through to the second round. He'll play John Park, the three-time world champion. Peter Hudson dejected. He had his chances. He just caught.